Aloha and good day. Welcome to In The Loop. I'm your host, Ashanti, representing Circle Network Group, and we're so excited to have you on today's action-packed resource webinar. Today's highlighted resource is going to be our partners, Affleck. So many people have seen the commercials. They can recognize the duck, but do you know what resources Affleck has for you and your family? Today, we'll explore some of those resources, including what kind of policy does Affleck offer? What is this going to cost my pockets? And how can I be able to move forward in planning for tomorrow's events? First things first, what is a supplemental insurance? Supplemental health insurance is insurance coverage that covers things that your primary health insurance doesn't cover. Expenses like deductibles, coinsurance, out-of-pocket expenses, and so many other things. In this regard, AFLAC acts, acts as a supplemental insurance for life's unexpected health events. AFLAC is a game changer. We always talk about investing in things that invest in you. And AFLAC truly changes the game and giving people the opportunity to be able to take life into their own hands when it comes to unexpected events planning for tomorrow, and being able to benefit off of life's lemons. Insurance is an amazing network because it allows for you to plan ahead. You remember that story about the grasshopper and the ants. The grasshopper played all summer and when the winter came, did not have the resources necessary to be able to sustain himself. While the ants planned in advance and had more than plenty to be able to resource their need when it came about. This is what insurance is to our everyday lives. Insurance allows for us to be able to plan ahead by setting aside resources for when the time comes that we need that resource. In this regard, I love what AFLAC does because they take life's everyday events and allows for people to be able to build on and to be able to have resources when they need it most. AFLAC is truly your everyday insurance. Let's talk about some of the policies that AFLAC offers. AFLAC offers quite a few policies. They have plans that range from individuals to groups. Individual plans range from accident to dental, vision, life, both term and whole, and cancer policy. While your group plans are a bit more expansive, they range from plans including the accident plan, your dental plan, your vision plan, hospital, uh, your cancer protection plan, term life, both a whole life, and term life insurance, and so many other writers to be able to build on the value of these plans. Let's explore some of the benefit packets of some of AFLAC's most common and popular plans. I'm gonna go ahead and do a screen share so you guys can see, and we'll go into a bit of a breakdown. One of the awesome things about these plans is that um, they have something for everyone. So it's not an all-inclusive piece. It really allows for you to build your insurance the way that you need it, based on your lifestyle, based on what you're most concerned about. It really takes those things in consideration when it puts together a plan for its policyholders. And so you have the opportunity to range from as little coverage to the max coverage that you may need. The first plan that we're going to go to is going to be our accident plan. Now, AFLAC's accident plan is absolutely amazing. It covers quite a bit, and it allows for you to build on it with the different riders that they have. And these riders essentially allow for you to uh, boost the payout. Here we go. So this is going to be, scroll all the way to the top, uh, AFLAC's accident indemnity. Now, 
pay attention to this little piece. It says Aflac Smart Claim One Day Paid. Now, one of the amazing things about Aflac um, that I love is that unlike your regular health insurance where you submit the claim, it goes through a process anywhere between um, seven to 45 days of processing, um, underwriting, making sure that the policy actually um, fits the policy benefits so that they can be able to pay on it or what they're not going to pay on it. And that can take quite a bit of time. And so when you're going through situations like, you know, recovery, and you're not making that income that you ordinarily would because you have this health event that's happened, AFLAC takes that into consideration. And so they give you the payout if you get your claim in before a certain time, um, you're able to get that one day pay automation. And so essentially what they will do is they will, once they receive that claim, they'll go through it, they'll go ahead and pay everything that is payable under that benefit and they will direct deposit it to you if you have it set up in that way um, for one day pay. So that's awesome. And it doesn't matter how big the claim is or how small the claim is. If you get it in within that window, that one day pay, um, you're able to really benefit off of that functionality. So that's an excellent piece about Affleck. So let's go over this. Added protection for you and your family. Even if you're well prepared, accidents happen and they happen to all kinds of people every day. What's even more unexpected are the out-of-pocket expenses associated with them, even if you have major medical insurance. That's how AFLAC can help. AFLAC pays cash benefits directly to you, unless otherwise assigned, to help with things like out-of-pocket medical expenses, the rent or mortgage, groceries or utility bills, helping you with the medical expenses that major medical doesn't cover and much more. And so that is really huge. Going back to that supplemental insurance piece, being able to pay for the things that major medical or primary medical insurance doesn't cover. Primary, prim, <laughs> primary insurance is not going to cover your rent or your mortgage. Primary insurance is not going to put groceries in your house when you're not able to work. That's something that a supplemental insurance piece takes the cake in. And so whether you have a really um, well comprehensively um, organized health plan with full benefits, your dental, your vision, you have those pieces and you're covered, or whether you don't have any of that. Your supplemental insurances are going to cover the gaps in those pieces that medical insurance does not cover. And that is really huge when you're talking about being able to prepare for the future, no matter what it is, being able to prepare for a um, financial gap bridger is really important. And that's something that AFLAC does for sure really, really well. Um, the AFLAC Accident Indemnity Advantage Insurance Policy has no deductible and no co-pays, no lifetime limit. Policies won't terminate based on the number of claims filled or the dollar amount of the claim paid. No network restrictions. You choose your own health care providers. No coordination of benefits. We pay regardless of any other insurance. And that's huge, going back to the fact that people have really comprehensive insurance packages, health insurance packages that pay for those health events. Well, what's going to bridge that gap? So it doesn't matter if you have insurance or whether you don't have insurance, AFLAC will pay on their claims. It's absolutely awesome. And then it makes it a better piece while you're building on your comprehensive insurance. If you have an insurance plan, being able to build on that, that way you come away with um, a little bit of extra in your pocket for the needs that you have, not just the doctors or the hospitals and paying those needs, but being able to finance your resources or finance your needs, um, th that resource is a really great way to be able to fill those needs as well. Because when you think about it, when you have a major thing that happens, medical or otherwise, there is added pieces that go with it. It's never just that event. There's doctor visits, there's rehabilitations, there's driving back and forth. There's all these extra expenses that go along with a health event happening that people don't plan for, even if you have that health insurance piece. And so protecting yourself, 
planning for the future, making sure that you have that extra stream while you're not able to um, move as freely or as lucid as you would like to financially in events that happen like that is, is definitely um, a, a great move. So one of the things that we're going to go into, we're going to go into all of these pieces, accidents, what type of accidents they cover, right? So accidents, uh, I know that you see here, I thought I had like a little car or something like that. It doesn't have anything like that. But uh, accidents, they have, they, the accident plan covers anything that is um, accident related. So whether it's a car accident, whether it is a jogging accident and you hurt yourself, whether it is you were um, working out and, you know, a weight fell on you and you got hurt, whether it was you're cooking in the kitchen and you accidentally cut yourself, um, whether it is you're tripped while you went up the stairs and now you hurt your knee and you have to go get, you know, x-ray on your knee or you have some type of healing that's, in, that's going to happen in regards to that piece. It's going to cover any form of accident. As long as it is an accident, this policy is going to cover those pieces. Um, wellness benefits. Okay, so this is also a really great piece because AFLAC even though they are not a health insurance carrier, they definitely promote positive health. They know that if you're healthy, then a lot of these pieces you won't have to use because you are taking care of your maintenance. That's why they have this wellness benefit that's built in here, $60 worth once per 12 month period. So when you go for your wellness visit to your doctors, um, you're able to also cash in that wellness visit with AFLAC and AFLAC pays you $60 just for going to go and get yourself checked. Now, when you have a family plan that actually triples, and so everyone has three um, wellness benefits that they can be able to cash in on versus just that one. Um, and these wellness benefits are everything from your PCP to um, ladies, our, our physical exams that we have to do, our well women's checkups, to um, your chiropractic checkups, to uh, your dental checkups, to your vision checkups, anything that you have to do that's a wellness benefit checkup form, that is going to cover that piece. So that's absolutely excellent. Nothing has to happen to you for them to already start paying back and investing in, into you. And that's huge when you're talking about investing into something else. Accident and emergency treatment benefit. This is a payable once um, per 24 hour period. And it is hospital emergency room. They cover $170 or they pay you. I'm going to stop saying cover because that is going to confuse people. It doesn't cover it, it pays it to you. So it's not going to pay the doctors or the hospitals. This is going to be a check or direct, direct deposit directly to the policy holder. And so this accident emergency treatment is going to be paid directly to you for hospital emergency room. You have $170 for that. Office or facilities, that's $120 for that other than a hospital emergency room. So if you don't have to go to the hospital or the emergency room and you just go to like an ER and urgent care or something like that, you're going to get that $120 because you had to go there. Your x-ray benefits, it has a $30 x-ray benefit that's um, on there as well. So the x-rays that you have to get from that event happening, there's $30 for that. Your accident, your accident follow-up treatment benefit, that's $35 for that. So that's excellent because that goes to um, when you have to do your follow-ups for the rehabilitation. After that event happens, you get paid that $35 just for having to go to that piece. Your initial accident hospitalization. Now this is when we start getting into the big bucks, right? Um, and I use that term loosely. Big bucks are different depending on what you're talking about. But when you have an event that has happened to you medically and you get paid something back from them, then any amount really is big bucks. Um, so your initial accident hospitalization benefit. So that means that there was an accident and you had to end up in the hospital. For AFLAC, if you are in the hospital for 18 hours, this benefit is gonna kick in. It's going to give you $1,000 um, for your first night that's in the hospital, um, or $2,000 when um, you are 
directly admitted to an intensive care unit. So it goes from $1,000 from being admitted to the hospital that first 18 to 24 hours, that's when that cash is in. It's actually 18 hours, very specific, after 18 hours. So if they're holding you and it's only 15 hours, I would let them know, hey, keep me you know, that extra um, three hours because I need to send this to Aflac. Um, right, so that hospital, initial accident hospitalization is going to be $1,000. They do have an added rider on top of that, so you can be able to add the rider piece on that and make that payout a little bit more, all the way up to $2,500, I believe, or $3,000, I believe. Um, we'll, we'll go into that a, a little bit later. Um, but your payout can increase based on those riders that you put on it. But the initial is going to be $1,000 if you're admitted to the hospital and you're confined for more than 18 hours. Or if you're admitted to the ICU, it's going to be $2,000 for that payout. The accident hospital confinement benefit, that's going to be $250 per day for 365 days. So a three, a $250, $250 a day um, that you're in the hospital, every day that you're in the hospital, confined in the hospital, that's going to go directly to you. Intensive care unit, that's going to be $400 per day um, that you're in the intensive care unit. So that's $400 that you're paid every day that you're in the, the ICU. Your accident benefits, some injury benefits. So this plan, the accident plan, we like to call it the price tag for every part of your body plan, right? Because they have a different amount that is um, eligible for payout depending on the specific part of your body that is injured. So going down this list, um, pays according to policy and the treatment below. Your dislocation, right? Dislocations go anywhere from $65 to $2,500. That's paid directly to you for that. Um, burns go from anywhere to from $125 to $12,500. Um, lacerations, those are your cuts, depending on how big it is. It goes anywhere between $35 for um, not requiring sutures, less than five centimeters, that's $65. At least five centimeters, but not more than 15 centimeters, that's $250. Over 15 centimeters, that's $500. Um, and those are the payout for your laceration pieces. Um, or your laceration events, <laughs> not pieces. They're not pieces of laceration. Uh, your concussions, brain concussions, that's $50 for that. Paralysis, quadriplegic, $1,500. I mean $12, Paraplegic, that's $6,250. Uh, the hemiplegic, that's $4,000. $4,750 for that. Uh, your emergency dental work, so that's going to your teeth, right? So this is any forms of accident. A uh, broken tooth repair for a crown, that's $400. Broken tooth resulting in extraction, that's $130. Eye injuries for surgical repairs, there's $300 that's paid to you. Uh, removal of foreign body by a physician. Removal of foreign body by a physician. So if something has to be taken out, um, $65. Fractions are anywhere between $125 to $3,500. Uh, coma is $12,500. Um, your surgical procedures range anywhere from $300 to $1,250. Um, really quick story, we did have a policyholder where she had to get her knees done and um, it was going to be quite pricey and she held off on getting the knee surgery until she got her um, plan, her AFLAC plan. And AFLAC actually paid her to get her knee, her knee surgery done. It not only took care of the um, ex the bills that were left over from her health insurance carrier from that specific surgery, but it also gave her a little bit extra. And so she was able to um, have something and walk away, not just with two great knees, but a little bit of extra money in her pocket. So that is just a story of ways that you're able to use supplemental benefits to your advantage and for your benefit. Um, Miscellaneous surgeries, right? Surgical procedures, miscellaneous surgical procedures are going to be uh, anesthesia, $300. Um, other types of sedation, $120. So we're going to go down here to major diagnosis and diagnostic exams benefits. Major diagnostic exam benefits, that's $200 
um, per year per covered person. Now, when you get a family plan, then of course that does double. Um, and so each person ends up getting two or three um, visits for that piece. And so that's 200 for that type of exam. Uh, epidurals pain management benefit that's a hundred dollars for that piece your physical therapy that's going to be thirty five dollars per treatment for physical therapy um, your appliance benefits that's one hundred and twenty five dollars your prosthetic benefits that's seven hundred and fifty dollars your blood and plasma so even blood and plasma guys um that's covered at two hundred dollars your ambulance benefits if you have to be taken um in an ambulance that's two hundred dollars for ground fifteen hundred dollars for air the idea is that we know that fifteen hundred dollars is nowhere near what it takes to be able to cover the cost of air transportation to a hospital. However, if you're going to be life lighted to the hospital, nine times out of 10, you're not going to be up for work the next morning. So what are we going to do or the next AM? Um, and so what are we going to do? We're going to be able to give you some funds to be able to help move you forward. And so that's, that's just extra pieces. I cannot tell you the last time that I received something back from my insurance company um, besides an EOB, explanation of benefits, right? And what I had to pay or what I didn't have to pay. So to say that you can be able to not expect for life to happen to you uh, and end up with finances or resources to be able to move you forward so that you are the same, if not better than when that happened is monumental. And those are the type of aspects that you look for when you're looking into investing into yourself, right? Things that don't invest back into you don't pay in any mind um, because those are, the, those are the things that are energy drainers versus being able to help move you forward and propel you forward. And so when you think smart and not hard, you're able to build whatever that you need at that moment and have the resources planning ahead to be able to cover those unforeseen pieces. So there are so many different benefits in this piece as it goes on and on and on. Um, they even have an accidental death benefit. So let's touch on this piece. So your accidental death benefit. If for any reason um, the accident that occurred was a fatal accident, these are benefits that are going to go and get paid out to the uh, beneficiaries. And so for the insured, right, common carrier accidents, right, common carrier accidents, that's $150,000 built in um, if that was fatal. For the spouse, $150. For the child, $25,000. Uh, $1,000. Uh, if it's a child, if it's the insured, if it's the spouse, it's, if it's the child. Those are the payouts for those pieces. Um, other accidents, uh, $40,000 for the insured, $40,000 if it's the spouse, $12,500 for if it's a child. A hazardous activity accident, $10,000. So that's like skydiving, right? You're doing something hazardous. You're doing something that's dangerous, known to be dangerous. And for some reason, it was fatal. $10,000 for the insured, $10,000 for the spouse, $3,125 for if it's a child. And so those are built in death benefits that come in that package or that you can be able to add to that package to make it a more robust package. And that's huge. That's really huge. Um, and I, I definitely advocate for health insurance, not health insurances, I apologize, life insurances and being able to prepare in reference to life insurances just for the added benefits that it has. But having a built-in death benefit in your insurance policies is a game changer. And it's definitely useful if you don't have those policies already set up. Even if you do, I mean, an extra $1,050 can't hurt. <laughs> $150,000, $150,000 can't hurt for sure. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, and oh, this one. Okay. So continuation of coverage benefits. So let's say for some reason, um, you're not able to pay, pay the premiums, right? If you have this additional piece added to this policy, even if you're not able to cover the, the policy benefits, I mean, the, uh, the premium for that benefit, then it waives all monthly premiums uh, for up to two months. And so that's really great. That's absolutely excellent. You can continue to have that investment pay off for you. So this is going to be the accident policy. 
we're going to go to our next policy. We're going to do individual and then we're going to go into business because business-wise, there's so many different benefits that AFLAC offers for businesses, small businesses, large businesses. The benefits go on and on and on. And um, it's, it's amazing that you can be able to have so much from so little. Um, it's mind boggling, but this is the realm of insurance and this is how insurance operates you usually end up receiving more of a benefit than what you pay into it and that is a really good piece especially when you're talking about investments so the next policy that we're going to go over is going to be our critical care policy right critical care critical illness critical illness policy I wonder if you can see it on here. You can see this on here, right? Yes, I believe you can. So I'm going to stop screen sharing real quick. And then we're going to start screen sharing again. I want to make sure that it's on. All right, it's on. All right, excellent. So the second policy that we're going to go into is going to be the critical care and recovery policy. Now, this policy is absolutely excellent. AFLAC hit the nail on the head with this one when they put this together because essentially this is for specific health events. It covers and pays out um, pretty nice dividends for that piece. So added protection for you and your family. Like many people, you probably have insurance to cover burglaries, fires, auto accident, and standard hospital bills. But what would happen to you and your family's finances if you experienced a, cat a catastrophic event, such as a heart attack or stroke, or even that knocked you off your feet or even changed your life forever? You may think you've already protected by, you're already protected by major medical insurance. Think again. Major medical coverage pays doctors and hospital bills, not out-of-pocket expenses, nor does it pay cash benefits that can be used to help with expenses such as car payments, the mortgage or rent, and utility bills. Bills that would be difficult, if not impossible, to pay if your income suddenly stopped due to illness or injury. AFLAC's specific health event insurance policy complements your major medical coverage and helps provide the peace of mind that comes with knowing you and your family are protected. That is huge. That statement says so much already, right? Fact number one, about every 34 seconds, someone suffers a heart attack. About every 40 seconds, someone suffers a stroke. Now, this is a true story. Um, this is just personally, I, my, we have experienced in our family one of our loved ones having a stroke. And if they had this policy enacted, this would have definitely alleviated the financial um, hardship that came along with a unexpected events such as a stroke. Nobody's expecting that. People are never expecting strokes when they happen. But there, even though are, there are preventative things that people can do, unfortunately, um, some things you can't prevent. And so this is a huge piece. This is that preventative piece, right? You couldn't prevent the stroke, but you can prevent what happens afterwards. This is just huge protection. Um, an illness or injury can happen to anyone anytime, and when it does, everyday expenses may suddenly seem insurmountable. Fortunately, AFLAC's specific health event insurance policy can help with those everyday expenses, so all you have to focus on is getting well. So some of the things that are covered, um, oh, two things, let's go into this one first. So the critical care and recovery insurance policy, it pays a lump sum benefit upon diagnosis and having had a primary specified health event, which increases for dependencies of children. So that's huge. So for children, if you have a child that is a dependent on this policy, that payout actually doubles for um, that dependent, which is excellent. Uh, pays benefits for hospital confinement, continuing care, transportation, and lodging. 
is guaranteed renewable for your lifetime with some benefits reduced at age 70, has no deductibles, co-pays, or network restrictions. You choose your own medical treatment provider. So some of the um, specific health events that are covered are going to be coma, paralysis, end-stage renal failure, uh, persistent vegetative state, major human organ transplants, stroke, heart attack, major third-degree burns, coronary artery bypass surgery, sudden cardiac arrest. Now that's just some of the things that are covered in this policy. Let's go through this little chart. Aflac's critical care and recovery plan two coverage is selected, right? Policyholder suffers a stroke and is hospitalized with a short stay in the ICU. After leaving the hospital, he receives speech and physical therapy. Aflac critical care and recovery plan to insurance policy providing the following $12,600 of benefits directly to that policyholder, not to the doctors, not to the hospital, directly to that person that had that incident happen to them. So let's go into it, shall we? So uh, your first occurrence benefit uh, for the, the insured and the spouse, $5,000. Uh, for the first initial occurrence. So anytime something happens to you, like somebody has a stroke for the first time, that's what's going to be paid out for it. A reoccurring benefit, that's $2,500. So if they have another stroke, that's going to be twenty five dollars instead of that $5,000. Um, for a dependent child, um, I'm coming back up here to at the top, a dependent child, it's going to be $7,500. So the named insured and the spouse is $5,000. For a dependent child, um, for that first initial event, it's $7,500. Second specified health event benefit, that's $250. It's a secondary. So let's say somebody has a stroke and they also have a um, coma, right? The stroke left them in a coma. Both of those things will get paid out, the coma and the stroke, but one is going to be paid out at that 5,000, the other is gonna be paid out at that 250. Um, hospital confinement benefit, that's gonna be $300 for day, per day. So every day that you're in the hospital, that's $300 paid to you. Hospital intensive care unit, so if you're in the ICU, for one to seven days, it's going to be $700 per day. For eight to 15 days, it's going to be $1,200 per day. For 16 to 30 days, it's gonna go back down to that 350 per day. For injuries, um, that's for sickness, right? For injuries, it's gonna be $800 per day. For eight to, for that's one to seven days. So let's start this over. <laughs> I'm getting really excited, guys. Okay, so injuries. Days one to seven, that's going to be $800 per day. Your eight to 15 days, that's going to be $1,300. Your 16 to 30 days, that's going to be $350. Sickness and injury, one to 15 days, it's going to be that $350. Major, major, major human organ transplant benefit, that's $25,000. Um, and continuous benefits, your continuing care benefit, right? So you have to continue care, of course, after this event happens. It's not just a one piece thing, it comes with other pieces. That's $125 per day. Your ambulance benefits, that's $250 per day if it's ground, $2,000 if it's your, if it's air. So where the accident, if you remember on the accident, it was 1,500, this one is going to be 2,000. Transportation benefit, that's 50 cents per mile, up to $1,500 per occurrence. So that transportation means that if you have to be, you have to transport or be, you know, go from one place to another, it pays for that pieces. It pays you mileage, guys. Your lodging stay, that's $75 per day for 15 days, up to 15 days. So if that happens for some reason um, and you have to go to another space, that is about 15, I believe the limit is 15, or the it starts 15 miles outside of your regular residential area. If you are anywhere with outside of that range, it's going to pay for that lodging piece. So you can be able to cash in on that piece as well. 
and that's your, your specified health insurance benefits. Now, the great thing with this piece, we're going back to those riders. So there are riders for the, spe the specified health plan that not only allow for more things to be covered, more uh, incidents and events to be covered, but it also increases the payout on those events as well. So that's really great. We're going to go to our next plan for our, our uh, independent, our independent policyholders, and then we'll move on to group. So I don't want to use this one, actually. I don't want to use that one, actually. Give me one moment. I'm going to pull up the correct one. All right. Give me one moment, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go with this one. Are you guys learning a lot? <laughs> Just some ways to be able to benefit and to be able to protect yourself because honestly, the biggest thing is being able to invest in things that invest in you. If you are investing in something that is not paying you back, then you're doing it wrong. I'm gonna be very, very honest and so, Right now, especially in today's health climate, our health is our biggest commodity. And so what would happen if you were to get sick? What would happen if there was a health event that would keep you from being able to do things as you normally would? How would things get paid? How would you be taken care of? Do you have a backup plan? Most people do not have $400 to their name in their savings for things that are unexpected, let alone a health event. And so being able to tap into programs such as uh, supplemental benefits that really cover in and bridge that gap between the resource and the need is huge, absolutely huge. So Let's go into this, Cancer Protection Assurance. So AFLAC was actually founded with their one and only plan, their first plan, not one and only because they have several, right? But their first plan was actually a cancer plan. And so the founders of AFLAC actually created AFLAC from their own health event that happened. Uh, they were farmers. The father um, ended up getting diagnosed with cancer. He went through the whole treatment. And that whole process of cancer uh, and, and surviving cancer, fighting cancer, that whole process definitely did a number on their finances. And they said no family should go bankrupt from a health event happening to them. And so they created AFLAC, which is literally your paycheck protection, right? Your health event paycheck protection. If something were to happen to you, this bridges the gap between you being able to provide and you being able to get well. And that's where it was founded on. And so AFLAC not only has a really great comprehensive cancer plan, but they also have a state-of-the-art cancer hospital and research center right in the heart of Georgia um, for a, with a specialty, a niche a, in childhood uh, cancer and cancer diagnostics, diagnostics. So they are doing so much in reference to research to being able to prevent, to being able to help, and to be able to heal. Their foundation is definitely on cancer prevention and cancer protection. The thing about these plans, you cannot get these plans if you get cancer. So like insurance, you can't say, hey, let me get car insurance after I'm in an accident and expect for it to pay for that accident. That's not how that works. And so prudent planning gears preparation, right? Just like the grasshopper and the ants, preparation was the difference between the success and the demise of that piece. And so being able to look 
and see if you have uh, predisposed conditions, if you have hereditary issues regarding cancer, if you are predisposed due to the environment that you live in and the space that you live in. Those are all great indicators for a cancer protection policy. So let's go a little bit into this, right? Cancer protection assurance. Cancer protection assurance, real conversations, real coverage, when you really need it. We're not gonna go through all this. <laughs> but uh, one in two men, statistically, end up getting cancer. One in three women, statistically, end up getting a form of cancer. In their lifetime, more and more Americans are living with cancer as a manageable disease. In fact, today, 90% of women who are diagnosed with breast cancer will survive it, and 99% of men who develop prostate cancer will live with it for five years or more. That's a lot, guys. We know that talking about cancer can feel overwhelming. But it doesn't have to be. If a cancer diagnosis touches your team, Aflac Cancer Protection Assurance can help you balance fairness, empathy, privacy, dignity, morale, and even productivity. Give your employees real conversations and coverage when they really need it with Aflac Cancer Protection Assurance. So this one is for the group plan. Um, however, mm, we should probably go to the other one because that just told me it's for the group plan, right? So we're going to go to this one. Nope, oh, this is it. That's it. That's it. Let me fix this, you guys. Give me one moment. One moment. And we will get into it. Okay. Okay. Cancer protection assurance. I'm going to go with this one. I'm just going to get down to the nitty gritty of it so you can be able to see everything. All right. That is cancer plan. All right. Let's go into cancer screenings, right? Cancer screening benefit. Um, they, this is a tiered benefit. So they have options one, two, or three, right? Uh, cancer screening, $25 for that benefit, $75 for that benefit, $100. So it goes anywhere from $25 to $100 for cancer screening benefit. Prophylactic surgery due to a positive genetic test result. That's going to range anywhere from $125 to $350. Initial diagnosis. That's going to range um, from anywhere from $1,000 to $6,000. For a child, a dependent child, it would range anywhere from $2,000 to $12,000. Your additional opinion, so of course your second opinion, that's going to go anywhere from $150 to $400. Radiation therapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, or experimental chemotherapy, which is excellent because, just a side note, a lot of insurance carriers do not pay for experimental. And so to say that you're able to get some type of benefit for experimental um, therapies and chemotherapies is really great. Uh, it ranges anywhere from $100 to $400 per month. Your uh, hormonal therapy, it's going to be anywhere between $15 to $40. Topical chemotherapy, anywhere between $100 to $200. Anti-nausea, of course, the side effects, that's anywhere between $50 to $150. Your stem cell and bone marrow transplants, that's going to be anywhere between $350, I mean, $3,050 to $10,000, donor even has a benefit, donor benefit $50 to $150.
And that's like for the donations and everything. That's excellent. Blood and plasma, $50 to $75. Your surgery and anesthesia, that's anywhere between fifty to seventeen hundred dollars to one hundred and forty to five thousand dollars. So it depends on what tier you're in. They've got that fifty to one hundred uh, to that fifty to seventeen hundred dollars and then that one forty to that five thousand mark. Skin cancer surgeries, so that's twenty dollars to fifty dollars. They also have graphs in here. Your graphs, that's $85 to $250. And the list goes on. As you see, these payable pieces, the hospitalization and confinement for 30 days or less, that's $100 to $300 for the insured and spouse, $125 to $375 per child. And that's daily. Hospital confinement, 31 days or more, that's $200 for insured or spouse to $600 per to insured or spouse, to, if it's a dependent, 250 to 750 um, for the dependent child. Outpatient hospital surgical room charges, that's $100 to $300. Extended care facilities, and the list goes on. Home health care, you've got 50 to $150 there. Hospice care, you have $1,000. Um, to, uh, what is it, they're after, $1,000 for a first day, uh, $50 per day after that, and then they're after $12,000, lifetime maximum per covered person. So that's, that's for your hospice care. The nursing services, 50 to 150. So they have literally every little piece that you would need as you go along through this recovery process. They think about those pieces and they add a benefit in there for those pieces. Your surgical prosthesis, your non-surgical prosthesis, your breast reconstruction, ladies, um, your other reconstructive surgeries that could happen, uh, egg harvesting and storage, even for fertility. They have that in there as well. Annual care, because of course, after you get a um, positive test result that you beat cancer, there's still the annual care that goes along with that. So there's a benefit in there, 100 to $300 in that piece. You've got ambulance fees here, is the 250 to $2,000, depending on whether it's ground or air. You've got a transportation fee that's in here um, that they're able to pay as well. They've got a lodging fee. They've got a waiver of premium on there. So if you cannot pay the premium, they have that piece on there. Um, the Continuation coverage is on here as well, and so much more. So this is a great, great piece for those that are concerned about cancer and protecting themselves against the diagnosis of cancer in reference to planning ahead. This is absolutely excellent for it. And so this is the uh, cancer plan that is offered, one of the one out of the five plans that are offered, or really seven plans that are offered independently outside of a group through AFLAC. And we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, moving right along, we're going to go ahead and bring up the dental plan. Share the screen here. All right, this is going to be the AFLAC product reference guide for the dental insurance. Dental insurance is super easy, very comprehensive. It's nothing um, overwhelming. <laughs> All right, let's get into some of these pieces, okay? So they have three plans to be able to choose from. They've got the basic, they've got the standard, they've got the premium, okay? Um, now, some of these do have benefits such as uh, orthodontic benefits, cosmetic dentistry benefits, if that's something that you're interested in doing. So for your dental wellness, for the basic, if you have um, the basic, it's going to be $25 to pay out for that. 
So when you go every six months to the dentist to get your wellness checkup, you have that there. Um, it ranges anywhere between $25 to $50. No waiting period on that. Your x-rays, that's going to be $15 to $35, depending on what tier you fall in. No waiting period on that. Fillings and basic services, right? So then we go up to $225 all the way to $275. It has a three month waiting period on those pieces. Pain management and uh, adjunctive services. You have uh, from anywhere from, so that's going to be um, benefits for deep sedation, general anesthesia, uh, first 30 minutes. So any of those numbing pieces, oxide, uh, nitrous oxide, are not payable for the same surgery. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the numbing and, and pain management pieces, that goes from $120 to $140, and that has a three-month waiting period on it. Uh, for preventative services, you have anywhere, you go from anywhere of $100 to $120. Oral surgery, gum, and that is a six-month waiting period on that. Your uh, oral surgery, gum treatments, and prosthetic repairs, that's up to $750 to $975 with a six-month wait on that. Your crown and major surgeries, um, that's up to $350 to $425, and that's a 12-month waiting period on that. Your major prosthetic services, that's up to $450 to $650 with a 24-month waiting period on that. And then coverage, year maximum per insured, it's um, $1,200 to $1,600. So that's for that. It's very simple. It's essentially um, ooh, initial treatments, all plans, $50, continued treatment, $50, optional uh, orthodontics. So if you choose the orthodontics piece, then you do have these added benefits in here. Um, the great thing about this piece is that if you have insurance, uh, dental insurance, then you can be able to reap the benefits of doing what you should be doing in reference to taking care of your teeth. And so that is that piece that is Aflac's dental group dental plan that is accessible for um, your um, direct customers as well, your direct uh, policyholders as well. So you don't have to be a part of a group to get that benefit. We're going to go into vision, your vision plan. Vision guide is super simple. Share screen. I believe I have to share. There we go. There we go. Okay. So for your vision plan, right? Protecting your vision. It's super awesome. Um, our eyes are very important and we always have to keep maintenance on them. People don't think about them as much um, as going to go get their um, physical or getting their teeth, but your your eyes are really important, right? So you have your eye exam there, $45 um, payout for that piece when you go and get your eye exams. Your, visional, your vision correction, um, they have all these different benefits that they're able to pay out. Waiting period is anywhere between no waiting period to two years on that vision correction. So if you have to, if you have um, refractive error correction surgery, you can get anywhere between $130 to $480 for that. Um, prescribed vision correction materials, $80 to $270. Um, these benefits are for your vision correction pieces. Specific eye disease disorders, $1,000 when first diagnosed. Um, things like glaucoma. Um, what is this? I need to zoom this in. There we, oh, that's really zoomed in. That's too zoomed in. I'm like, Okay, proliferative, uh, diabetic, retinopathy, uh, retinal detachment, retinus, pigmo pigmentosa, and macular degeneration. Those are all uh, eye diseases that will get you those that $1,000 payout under this policy. Eye surgeries, 
anywhere between fifty to fifteen hundred dollars. Permanent vision impairment if someone goes blind, um, there's a benefit of seven hundred and fifty to five thousand dollars on that piece. Um, oh, maximum. Com oh, okay, is that per eye? Yeah, so that's per eye. If both eyes end up getting uh, blind or becoming vision impaired then that's that $10,000 piece. And of course, the continuation of coverage, they have this on the plan as well. So if for some reason you're unable to pay, it does cover the premiums for two months on this one. And then of course the life insurance is, you have your whole life and then your term life through um, the direct policies. And those are really great as well. They have a lot of options depending on where you wanna go with it. And so um, I do implore you to look into those pieces. If you're interested, definitely reach out to us and we can get you more information and a breakdown on those life insurance policies. Literally life insurance should just be its own whole different webinar to be honest with you. But those are the, some of the popular plans that are big with the direct clients. Now, take a pause, take a break. Are you ready to move into the group policies and what you have access to through the group policies? Okay, so through the group policies, Aflac has a lot of added benefits for business owners and group policies. What is considered a group policy under Aflac? A group policy is considered a group when it is a business. They have a tax ID number, EIN number, and they have three participating um, employees. Three participating employees and a tax ID number gets you into that group. Um, policy deal. One of the excellent pieces with the group policy is that it is 40% off of the plans that they offer. So that's huge. Um, you get 40% off of all the plans. And then you also get access to all of the other plans that Aflac offers. So where Aflac has about seven different plans that they offer for the direct, the individual person, under a group, you get access to about 11 or 12. And so you have the accident plan, you have the critical care plan, you have the cancer plan, you've got your vision, you've got your dental, you've got your life, both whole and term. But now you also have a, a hospital plan which gives amazing benefits. You also have a uh, disability plan that's on there. You also have a uh, unemployment, not unemployment, not unemployment, <laughs> not unemployment, your disability that's on there. Um, you have your writers. Let me pull it up. You have your writer plans that are on there and it's, it's, Pretty darn awesome. So yeah, you got your, your cancer, your hospital, you've got your plus riders, of course, which we'll get into. You've got your dental, you've got vision, you've got a oh, lump sum critical illness policy and your critical illness policy. You've got whole life, you've got term life. Uh, you've got the um, disability and you have your cafeteria plans. So those are the plans that you have access to under your group plans. So you're 40% off, access to way more plans. Um, and as a business owner, get this business owners, as a business owner, you also have the um, additive of being able to um, do these plans pre-tax. And so you can actually get a deduction or lower your payroll taxes by having these plans enacted in your group or for your employees. Now, how does that work? We all as employers pay payroll tax. If you are an employer and you have employees and you pay them a salary, you pay them a wage, you have payroll tax that you have to pay. 
So payroll tax a lot of times is almost the same as you paying the employees, right? It's pretty high and up there. So what these plans do are these, the AFLAC plans are pre-tax dollars. So that means that it comes at a rate that comes out before taxes come out, right? And so that deduction that is coming out from the plan is before those taxes come out. And so it appears as though the employee is making a little bit less on that paycheck than what they actually are. And that decreases that payroll tax that you as an employer have to pay out. And so it not only is absolutely excellent for being able to retain top talent, it's excellent for building the morale. Who does not want to have benefits with their work? A place where they can be able to feel like they don't just clock in and clock out, but they can be able to build with and have equity that they're building into the company, right? Um, being able to stay competitive because on the heels of that, so many companies are moving towards a benefit package. The days of being able to just pay a good salary and expect for employees to be happy with that are long over. People are looking for longevity. People are staying with places that not only provide them with great um, wages, but also an excellent benefit package so that they can be able to build on for their futures and for their families. Um, and so it helps to be able to stay competitive by being able to offer these plans. It reduces your payroll tax that you pay. So you're all actually saving on the employees that you currently have by implementing these pieces or implementing these programs. Um, and it allows for you to really be able to build a well-rounded team. It allows for you to be able to invest in your team, in your group, in the people around you in a way that is non-tangible because it's support. And support goes a long way. You get a lot more out of people when they feel supported, when they feel as though you are in it to help them grow as well, just as they're there to push you forward. Because teamwork is all about being able to lift one another up and push each other forward to a common goal. And so that is huge. These programs really allow for employers to do that and to give that. And in some cases, they're able to do that at absolutely no charge, which is excellent. Because as we know, as employers, if we have a certain amount of employees, being able to provide health coverage is something that we not only get penalized for doing, but it's also a cost share from our own pockets. AFLAC allows for you to implement these programs at absolutely no cost to you. If you say, yes, I want to offer these programs to my employees, I feel like they would be able to benefit from these pieces, then you can be able to offer them, offer it to them without having to do a match program piece. If you choose to match, if you choose to give into these programs, if you choose to put up a contribution into these programs, you get an extra benefit of being able to get a tax um, write-off and a tax deduction, some tax points, when you do your taxes because every piece of funds that you contribute into your employees' uh, plans, into their uh, benefit plans, actually is a benefit for you um, tax-wise. And so that deduction and that, that uh, added tax benefit is absolutely huge. And so these are just some of the different ways that you can be able to benefit from implementing a program like AFLAC into your companies and with your employees, integrating that type of program, that teamwork, that uh, preparation mentality. That's a great segue for that piece. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring up a few of the plans that are offered specifically under the group piece. A lot of them are offered under the individual as well, but we're going to fill in those gaps for the pieces that aren't. And so um, also, also, it's a good thing to say that with the group plans, a lot of the group plans that pay out on these pieces um, on these plans are a little bit more than the payout on the direct independent sales. So that's really great as well. So we're going to bring up the cancer plan under group. We're going to bring up the um, hospital plan under a group. And yeah, 
I think those are the those are the two that we're we're going to bring up, and we'll go ahead and add them so that you can get a well-rounded view of all the different policies. Even though we haven't touched on all of the policies, if there is a specific policy that you want to know about, definitely get in contact with us. Get in contact with your AFLAC agent, and we can definitely hook you up with the resources that you need, the information that you need to make the informed in decision to be able to build the life that you want to build. So definitely get in contact with us. We're going to go ahead and bring up the hospital plans. All right, I'm going to do a screen share here so you guys can see what I am looking at. And we are currently looking at our group hospital indemnity insurance plan with AFLAC, okay? So, oh, also it's really great, a great piece with this as well is that for the group plans, a lot of these pieces are a guaranteed issue. So if you're coming in under a group, under your employer, then you have access to a lot of these plans without underwriting, as opposed to as an individual where there's some, in, some underwriting that is um, associated with some of these plans. So that's really great as well. Why do people purchase group hospital indemnity insurance? Do you know the answer? Reason number one, hospital care and physician clinical services combined account for over half, 52% of the nation's health expenditures. Reason number two, average cost per inpatient day for a hospital stay is $2,157. Reason number three, an estimated 20% of Americans have had difficulty paying a medical bill due to high cost. Now, all of these things are so true. The few things that you will pay the most for are your education and your health. Fact, fact number two, in the, the health industry is only getting more expensive. It's not getting less expensive. It's getting more expensive. And to say that you can spend $2,100 in one day just by staying in the hospital is a lot. It's a lot to say the least. And then of course the medical bills, after you're in there, right? Even after you have insurance, your health insurance, you have your deductibles. And if you've met your deductibles, you have your co-insurance pieces. Then if you've met your co-insurance pieces and you've met your out-of-pocket max for that calendar year, then your insurance will cover 100%. But if it's not, you can guarantee you will be receiving a medical bill in the mail a few months after your service because there's still things that need to get paid. So it's important to be able to have a fallback plan on how to be able to resource these needs. Let's look into it. Product specifics, coverage options. You can cover anywhere between yourself, yourself and your spouse, yourself and your children, yourself, your spouse, and your children. Uh, plan options, there are six plan options with this plan. HSA plans are available with this plan. Um, eligibility, anyone from 18 to 64 is eligible for this plan. Children that are under the age of 26 are eligible to be on this plan as well. Um, portability, if your employer or if your employee, if you are an employee and you leave your job, you can take your insurance with you. If you are an employer and your employee has left, they can take their insurance with you. Underwriting is guaranteed issued on this, which is excellent. So they're not looking at your health um, history during this process. During the initial enrollment coverage is guaranteed issue provided the applicants are eligible for coverage. Enrollments take place once each 12 month period. Late enrollments cannot enroll outside of an annual enrollment period and will be underwritten. So if you miss that 
open enrollment time for the coverage for that piece, then you will be subject to underwriting. But as long as you're within that period of going through your company, being in there in the eligible time, you are eligible for coverage, There, you're not subject to underwriting, which is absolutely excellent. And the effective date on this policy is going to be 30 days after um, you receive the policy. And so that's really great because all of the other policies are immediate besides the ones that have the waiting period on them, but they kick into gear immediately. Your um, critical illness, that's pretty immediate. Your accident plan, that's immediate. Your cancer plan, that's immediate. Your hospital plan, that is going to be something that is going to take 30 days. So after you submit your application, it is accepted. You now have AFLAC insurance. 30 days from that point is when the, these benefits are payable. Let's look into some of these benefits. All right, you've got your hospital admission. It goes anywhere between you have options, which is really great, right? You can choose anywhere between $250 to $1,500. Um, that's your hospital admission when you, if you get admitted into the hospital, right? Your hospital confinement is anywhere between $150 to $250 per day. Your hospital intensive care unit is anywhere between $150 to $250. Your surgical and anesthesia are anywhere between $1,500 and $2,500. Anesthesia ranging from $375 to $625. Out of hospital prescription drugs is $10 to $20. Hospital emergency room physician um, medical fees, $50 for visit, um, $1,000 per family for calendar year. Your physician um, going to see your doctor out of your hospital going to see your doctor, that's $50, right? Your laboratory fees going for labs, that's $25. X-rays, that's $50. Injections and medication shots, that's going to be $25. Well, baby care, even a benefit for the babies, $25 to $50 for their well baby cares. And this plan also has um, different built-in pieces that you can add to it, different writers that you can add to it to be able to increase that payout, which is absolutely excellent. So that is going to be the hospital indemnity. This one is going to be the group hospital guide. All right. I'm gonna share my screen with you. All right, so hospitalization, we're gonna jump right into it, okay? <laughs> um, on the high, it has low, mid, high. So hospitalization, it ranges from $50 to $2,000 to be administered. That's your first um, 18 hours in the hospital. That's what that payout is gonna be. Hospital confinement, confined to the hospital, $100 to $200 per day. Hospital intensive care unit, $100 to $200 a day. Um, your um, intermediate intensive care unit, going a step down from the, the uh, intensive care unit, that's $50 to $100. Outpatient doctor's office visits, that's $25 to $50. You've got the telemedicine service benefit that's in here, that's $10 to $20. Ooh, let me also let you guys know when you're doing the well visits or having to go to the doctor, telemedicine service uh, appointments or visits also count. So you don't have to physically be in front of the doctor to cash in on that uh, doctor's visit benefit. Chiropractic visits, 10 to $30. Major diagnostic exams, 
100 to 200 dollars that's your ekgs your mris your cat scans your cts out of hospital prescriptions that's 20 dollars across the board hospital emergency room visits that's 75 dollars to 125 dollars emergency room observations that's 25 dollars to 75 dollars emergency room observation for 24 hours after 24 hours so that's more than 24 hours one visit per covered sickness or accident per calendar year maximum of five total visits per calendar year so that um it's more than 24 hours if you're in there more than 24 hours in the emergency room observation that's going to be 50 to 150 dollars your rehabilitation facilities are 50 to 100 dollars now we're getting into surgeries and anesthesia categories. Surgeries, inpatient surgeries and anesthesia are $250 to $750. Outpatient surgery and anesthesia, that's $125 to $500. Facility fee or outpatient surgery ranging, ranging from $50 to $100. Outpatient surgery and anesthesia ranging from $50 across the board. Um, your health screening benefits, that's $50 across the board. You've got the waiver of premium rider on here as well. And this is also HSA compatible. So this is also a really great piece. This is a um, hospital plan as well. It has added benefits, not just hospital confinement, but as you see, the doctor's visits, the chiropractic visits on there as well, the telemedicine visits, um, your major diagnosis, your scans, uh, your emergency room observations. It has quite a bit of different policies that they add in these pieces. So your hospital plan is absolutely excellent. Now, I like to say if you have your accident plan, a lot of people are like, well, there's a lot of the same benefits in the accident plan that are in the hospital plan. Why would I get one or the other? Your accident plans are only going to cover anything that is accident based. Your hospital plans are going to cover anything that is sickness-based but did not happen by accident. And so being able to have both your accident covered as well as your hospital covered, which is sickness-based, anything that is not accident, you've got both your bases covered there. If you have one or the other, if you go in and it's not that piece, let's say you go into the hospital, right? You get the, you're, you're in there and they find out, okay, well, it's a, a gallbladder problem and we're going to have to remove your gallbladder while you're in here. That that is, and you have an accident policy, that's none of those benefits are going to be covered under accident. Because unfortunately, gallbladder surgery or gallbladder problems are not an accident piece, but it would be covered under your hospital benefits. So you don't want to cut yourself short by um, getting a plan that may not cover the benefits that you need specifically. And that's one thing that I really like about these plans is because it allows for you to build and pick and choose what you need and what you don't need to be able to fit your lifestyle and what you want to be able to achieve. So that's really great. So the last plan that we're going to pull up here is to be the group, the group cancer plan. And that happens. That's the first one we were looking at. Cancer plan has a lump sum um, rider on it. The hospital plan has a lump sum rider on it. And the uh, critical illness has a lump sum rider on it as well. So that means you can um, be able to get an additional lump sum amount of payout based on that specific um, health event. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. There we go. All right, so we already went over this. We know one in two men, one in three women. We're going to look at what this actually covers. So, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit too much. All right, so your initial diagnosis is going to be anywhere between 100, I mean, 1,000, 100, 1,000 to $6,000 for dependent children is $2,000 to $12,000. Uh, for radiation therapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, or experimental uh, chemotherapy, it's 100 to $400. Physician administration, if a physician administers it, it's going to be 600 to $1,500. 
Uh, cancer screening is $25 to $100. Your surgery and anesthesia is going to be $50 to $5,000. A hospitalization confinement for 30 days or less is going to be $100 to $300. For a child or dependent, a child dependent is going to be $125 to $375. Now remember, they consider a child dependent anyone under the age of 26. Uh, Hospitalization, okay, hospitalization confinement for 31 days or more, you're looking at 200 to 16, 200 to $600 for a child dependent, $250 to $750. Outpatient hospital surgery room charge, that's 100 to $300 per day. Skin cancer surgery, $20 to $50. Skin grafts, $85 to $250. Flap or graft without ex, uh, excision at 125 to 375 excision of lesion of skin with flap or graft, 200 to $600. And then the maximum bed of bed is 200 to $600 a day. So for that graft, that skin surgery graft, the max is going to be $600 um, a day for that piece. A prophylactic surgery due to a positive genetic testing result is $125 to $350. Breast reconstruction, there's a benefit in there for that. Annual care, there's a benefit in there for that. Additional riders, now remember we're talking about those additional riders, things to be able to soup up your, your policy pack there. So they have the initial diagnosis building benefit rider. So that says this benefit is in, it will increase the amount of your initial diagnosis benefit as shown in the policy by $100 for each unit purchased, up to five units for each covered person on the anniversary date of coverage while coverage remain enforced. So that means that your policy builds $100 every year that you are cancer-free, essentially. So where that initial diagnosis buildup was um, $100 to six, uh, I apologize, I keep saying $100, it's not $100, $1,000 to $6,000, it grows by $100 every year um, that you're cancer-free. So that's a great piece. Specific disease disease benefit rider. So that's really great because um, it covers diseases, specified diseases. So when a covered person is diagnosed with any of the diseases listed in the specified disease rider, that is non-cancer based, it pays an initial diagnosis and hospital, hospitalization benefit on that as well. And then of course they have the dependent child rider. That's a $10,000 rider when a covered dependent child is diagnosed as having internal cancer or an associated cancerous conditions, condition. So if a child ends up having cancer, if you have that rider on there, there's already that added $10,000 um, payout that is added on top of that. Uh, plan, this cancer plan. And that is just some of the policies that AFLAC offers under, let me start this over. Those are just some of the plans that AFLAC offers under the direct or the group plans. There are so many different benefits with being able to have the resources to plan while you are ahead plan before anything happens, get those resources in order and organize them. That is, that's, it's amazing. And to be able to say that you can plan your life from beginning to end just by prudent, proper planning and resourcing is monumental. And so AFLAC is doing a really great job at being able to assist people in their everyday lives. I call it the everyday insurance because it is insurance and coverage for everyday events. Depending on what you need it for, they have a policy that is built in to help you and to help you succeed financially while you go through the recovery process. So um, that is AFLAC. The next piece that we're going to go into is pricing, right? So how much would you think that a policy like this costs? Fifty dollars, seventy-five dollars, eighty-five dollars, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty, two hundred seventy-five, no. But it, it, you would think that it's a bit pricey, especially with the way that health insurance is nowadays. 
you're looking at $300 policies, $400 policies, $500 policies, six, seven, eight, nine, especially to cover a family. Like, it gets pretty pricey. I'm about to share my screen and show you how much it is to have access. All right. So this is a group plan, right? A group plan that is based on a bi-weekly payment schedule with a rating A. So AFLAC chooses their clients or chooses to take on uh, clients based on specific ratings. They have everything from A to D. A is the highest, D is the lowest. Depending on where you range in that grade is how they come up with their payment scale policies. Now, uh, it does not, it's not a huge difference in reference to the premium payments from an A to a D. However, they do choose their um, ratings based on the industry that you're in. So because this is a group policy, um, depending on the industry that the client is in, it will determine how insurable they are, how dangerous their work is, if they're more sedentary, if they're more active, and how likely are they to cash in on these plans based on the type of work that they do. So that's kind of how they scale it. Um, A is the most sedentary thing that you can think of. D is the most um, active thing that you can think of. And they range everything in between. For, ind for direct um, independent policyholders, they are always A, B. So we're looking at a policy rating of a group with an A rating on a bi-weekly schedule. Another great thing about AFLAC is they let you choose the schedule that you wanna pay on, depending on whether you wanna do it weekly, whether you wanna do it bi-weekly, whether you wanna do it monthly, um, whether you wanna do it semi-monthly, whether you wanna do it quarterly, whether you wanna do it annually, they let you choose how you want to pay, pay your premiums. So that's really great and convenient. So this one is based on a rating A bi-weekly rating schedule. So this is a every two weeks, this is the amount um, that the policy costs. So we're gonna start with the cancer plan, right? Cancer plan, for an individual, for a cancer plan, for an athlete, it is $18.21. For an individual and their spouse, it's going to be, oh, oh, let me start off by saying this. <laughs> you have this little thing here that says premium, right? This is the base package. Then you have these added pieces, additional pieces that you'll see coming up, right? These additional pieces are the riders. So the total is the amount for the policy of a souped up policy. The premium is just the base policy without any of the riders on it. So I'm going to be quoting with the souped up policies. However, when you get your ratings, um, when you reach out, when you get your quotes, depending on what you're looking for, you can choose to either look at your premium or your total, which is the souped up. You can go basic or you can go souped up. I'm going to be giving ratings based on the souped up version. So the cancer protection policy um, uh, for a group, for an individual, it's going to be $18.21. For an individual and their spouse, it's going to be $33.09. For a individual and their children, it's going to be $18.21. For an individual, their spouse, and their children, it's going to be $33.09. So if you see with this specific plan, the individual and the in, in the policy holder with their children is the same, and then the individual and spouse and the individual spouse and children are the same price. And that's not expensive all, that's bi-weekly. So you're looking at individually, Individually, if you are, it's $36.42 monthly if you're individual or individual in, in children, or $16.42 
$66.18 if you're individual in spouse or individual spouse in family. We're going to go to the hospital plan. The hospital plan, Affleck hospital plan, um, for an individual with all of it souped up, it's going to be $31.62. If you are 18 to 49, if you're 50 to 59, it's going to be $34.92. If you're 60 to 75, it's going to be $39.12. Um, I'm going to give the 18 to 49 version um, the first tier, and if you fall in between any of those other brackets, definitely look for your age and the, the um, quote by that specific age. So individual for a hospital plan, $31.62. For individual and spouse, it's $52.56. For an individual and, a, and their children, it's going to be $44.46. For it to be a individual spouse and their children, it's going to be $55.62. And these are bi-weekly prices. For your hospital choice, and remember we read two hospital plans. For the hospital choice, it's going to be, and this one is with a payout of $2,000. So the, the initial payout when you're in the hospital is $2,000 on this one. The initial payout when you're in the hospital for this one is $1,500. So for the first 18 hours that you're in the hospital, for this plan, it's $1,500. For the first 18 hours that you're in the hospital, for this plan, it's $2,000. So individually, it's going to be $37.50. Individual and spouse is going to be $61. Um, Individual and children is going to be $51. Individual spouse and children, it's going to be $67. And this plan has an added rider, an uh, Aflac Rider Plus plan that's on that. And it's just uh, $1.44, $2.70, $3.48, um, if you want to add it to this plan. But essentially what it does is it increases the payout of all these benefits on here. Your dental plans, so your dental plans are, these are based on the uh, waiting periods. That's going to be the difference from one to three. It's the waiting period on these dental plans that are going to be the difference in the charge on them. They have the same benefits on them. It's just the waiting period that changes and puts you into your level one, two, or three. Um, for individual, for the dental plans, it's going to be $37.27. For an individual and their children, it's going to be $51.54. For individual and spouse, it's going to be $51.90. For a individual spouse and their children, it's going to be $65.76. Uh, under the dental level two, you have individual at $40.44 your individual and children at $58.20, your individual and spouse at $58.44, your individual spouse and children at $75.54. And then for your tier three, your level three, you have individual at $48.36, your individual and children at $74.22, your insured, which is your individual and your spouse at $74.76. Then you have individual spouse and children at $99.60 for that dental plan. Your vision plans. Now your vision is going to be the same across the board in regards to um, the levels. They have different levels, but they're all the same price. You have your individual at $6.42 for the vision. $10.57 for the individual and children. For the individual and spouse, it's $10.11. And then for the individual spouse and children, it's $13.34. Now there's your lump sum critical illness. The lump sum critical illness um, that we talked about, you can be able to get a lump sum of funds on top of that specific diagnosis. So it's just money on top of money, essentially. For individuals, it's really low. Um, $3.30 for individuals, 
for a husband and wife, uh, for the spouse, an individual, that's $5.46. For a individual and their children, $3.30. For, so let's see. I need to take in more air. <laughs> Everybody, let's just take a deep breath. Here we go. For individual, spouse, and children, it's going to be $5.46, and that's to add a lump sum of funds on top of your critical illness um, plan, initial their payouts. So then life insurance policies. We didn't really touch too much on this. I'm just gonna breeze through this really quick. We have a life insurance policy of $150, I mean $150. $1,000. $150,000 in whole life insurance of $150,000. Um, and you find your age here. This is essentially what it would be for a whole life insurance policy. Let's say, let's say 50, 50, it'd be $130 um, biweekly for a 50 year old to have $150,000 in whole life insurance without that. Of course, your term life insurances are going to be a lot less because they have less benefits in your whole life. Um, this is strictly um, final expenses and um, critical illness. So like uh, terminal illnesses, you can be able to cash in on these as well. And that's for the same amount, 150, for the same 150 for a 50-year-old. Oh, it'd be $39.05 for a term life policy of 20 years of $150,000. So it just depends on what you're really looking for and how long the term is. Um, like I said, the life insurance portion of this webinar will definitely be a second piece because life insurance is a whole thing in and of itself. Your critical care policy. Um, your critical care policy is going to be um, $8.88 for an individual. For an individual and their children, it's going to be $14.40. For an individual and their spouse, it's going to be $17.16. For an individual, spouse, and children, the price is going to be $19.26 for that critical illness uh, policy. And then your accident policies. This is one of our most popular policies. Um, it ranges from, depending on what um, range of care that you want, it goes all the way from one to four. Um, and the payout of the initial accident is essentially what changes in between those pieces. And so if you want more payout, you're going to want to be in the four bracket. Um, but we're looking at this. The total for the individual is $7.98. For the individual and their spouse, it's going to be $11.34. For the individual and their children, it's going to be $13.50. And for the individual, the spouse, and their children, it's going to be seven $17.64. Now, the accident also does have a rider, an additional rider on top of that as well, which is just additional funds on top of that piece. The individual rider is $1.44. Individual and spouse is $2.70. Individual and children is $2.88. And individual spouse and children is $3.48. Um, and that is essentially the quote for a group plan um, with a rating of an A with a bi-weekly pay schedule. The prices are extremely affordable to be able to plan in advance, to be able to invest in something that invests back into you, to be able to say that you have the resources necessary to sustain the need if the time ever arises that there's a health, a, a health event that happens, um, you have those resources there. It's definitely a very feasible way to go. Um, they think cost consciously for the consumer. And so it's not an arm and a leg to be able to protect yourself and to be able to have that peace of mind that you have a flow of income coming in even if you stop.
And that really is the biggest peace of mind, that investment in the peace of mind of knowing that you still have funds coming in, even if you stop is monumental. And that is our webinar for today. If you are interested in any of the AFLAC products, definitely contact us at www.circlenetwork.org. You can reach out to us, schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, and we'll definitely link you with the resources necessary to be able to fulfill your need. I hope that you all were informed, that you leave with uh, resources, education, feeling more empowered and more knowledgeable than you were when you started this webinar. Thank you so much for spending this time with me this day, and I hope that you all have a peaceful and productive day. Malu. Oh.